Well, hmm, this is interesting. Temper your drinking, keep the midnight kiss polite. Well, I never got them. And never hold your champagne glass in photos. These are some of the key etiquette issues uh, for New Year's Eve. And we thought we might actually speak to someone who knows all about New Year's Eve etiquette. Her name is Julie Lamberg Burnett, a Burnett, I should say, and she's the founder and CEO of the Sydney School of Protocol. Julie, welcome along. How are you doing? Oh, thank you, Mark. Very yeah. nice to be on your show today on the special day. Well, exactly, and happy New Year. Was it a was it a good New Year for you, or was it a good two thousand and fifteen? Absolutely. Mm. The Sydney School of Protocol. We met clients from across Australia. So wonderful, wonderful year for us um, and looking forward to 2016. Well, absolutely. So what is, Julie, what is one of the absolute keys to doing the right thing on New Year's Eve as we get closer to 12 o'clock? If there was one thing that you shouldn't do, what would it be? I think being mindful of your host or shouldn't do, I think it's forgetting about... um, the host, your fellow guests, um, just just how you're putting yourself uh, in a situation on New Year's Eve, given it is meant to be a magical night. It's yes. a really special night. Mm-hmm. And having consideration for others. Mm-hmm. Uh, look, some, of, some of the things you mentioned as you introduced the program mm. <laughs> uh, are things that, you know, I think commonly that we can sometimes overlook, um, given the situation we're in, and there's there's a great, I, I guess, appeal to to get over an overdrive. I would describe it. A, a, <laughs> um, a what? Early, what was that? To get an overdrive early in the evening. Oh, to get in um, overdrive, the, yeah, yeah. Without <laughs> being in a car, you mean? <laughs> yes. Mm. Uh, because you know it, it is a long evening, but it's really special mm. um, with your with your family or guests. And, and the etiquette tip that we would would really recommend is, you know, we all enjoy um, beverages, whether it's alcohol or whatever, but particularly alcohol, it's really wonderful at night to mm. still be able to have, you know, a really um, uh, good conversation with yeah. the guests or the family you're with. So without slurring your words, without at the end of slurring it. your words, mm. and, and and you know, we do focus a lot. Um, particularly at the school, on your personal brand mm. and, and your reputation. And yeah. it's so true today that your your work sort of persona mm. and your personal persona are so integrated. And, mm. and with social media, mm. um, as we all know, <laughs> yeah. um, you do need to be considerate of, of yourself and, and your colleagues. That yeah. It's very tempting to... To just perhaps not consider some of those factors on New Year's Eve. Yeah, because and, we and, do. And, and, and you yeah. made a good point about social media because people can be snapping photos of you doing whatever, <laughs> and then on send them. Right. I mean, you know, horrendous, really. I mean, I try, and the, I try, and I try and avoid New Year's Eve like the plague. <laughs> well, it is. You know, I think across the world, it, it's wonderful to see every city in the world celebrate in a different mm. way, and we all want to be part of that. Yeah. But I think just just being confident, and, and one of the etiquette tips that um, we do mention is that photograph, and and sometimes, you know, it's just better just not to have a glass of alcohol in your hand every time you have a photo taken. Oh, okay, yeah, um, yeah. okay. So because, that's you know, why that, you'd advise that, yeah. Yeah, because we just don't realise, you know, your future and is often looking at your Facebook page. Mm. Um, if every picture of you is holding a glass of alcohol, it's just really a lot of. Uh, it's to be mindful of perceptions yeah, yeah. that you're yeah. that you're that you're in, and I yeah mm. that you're in, and just keeping yourself in check because yeah. we we don't want to we don't want to be in straight jacket. Oh God, no. often about that. Well, would you go one <laughs> Would you go one step further and to try and impress people when you? had a photo taken, instead of having a glass of champagne in your hand, you perhaps had a clipboard and a pen. Like, it looks as though you're sort of working on New Year's <laughs> Eve. Oh, no. You wouldn't go no, that far, Julie? I think, no, no. I think you want to, you know, you want to be your happiest. Mm. It's a really special occasion. Mm. And you're often with friends. Um, you perhaps with family, but also, more importantly, you're often with new people. Mm. Um, you might be in a situation you're meeting 
and had the opportunity to meet a whole new group of people that might actually be quite interesting mm. um, for 2016, a whole yeah. new group of friends. And, and again, it's just, you know, modern etiquette has been, is about knowing what's appropriate mm. when. And, and that and I think yeah, mm. yeah, because it's not about not enjoying yourself. Well, what about but a kiss? Can. What about a kiss? Yeah. Now, th- now this, is, this, this, this is an interesting one because so if you're with someone and you don't necessarily know them all that well, but nonetheless you have a bit of a kiss, it's, it's not necessarily a long one or anything, would it be best just to leave it at that or, or could you ask, could you sort of say, look, that wasn't too bad, can we just do that again sort of thing? I know it's after midnight, but, you know, let's... <laughs> Look, I think, again, it's a situation you've got, it's about you feeling comfortable, mm. everyone's different, mm. and we always say, like, the first embrace of the year, we suggest, you know, that was, it's reserved for the one that you came, mm. the person you went with, yep. and certainly can be a tender and timely kiss, but you, mm. you, you want to be not embarrassing those around oh, you. Yeah. Um, and look, you, we all know that you can be put in awkward situations where you see someone approaching you that, that you prefer not to have, you know, sort of a, um, it, who might be slightly, you know, under the influence. Mm. Um, mm. You, you can handle those things through your body language oh, and, yeah. and just yeah. a peck on the cheek yeah. is and what and we then move on. Yeah, or mm. you might decide to go to the bathroom or mm. Or make it a group hug. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's a good idea. Yeah, if you're involved in a group hug, you, you hug. You know, someone in that group is uh, is not loved. Hey, Julie, what about uh, what about if you're at a, at a party or a show, and there is someone there that you you don't and haven't got on well with? Uh, is it the perfect night to sort of walk over and shake their hand and say, "Hey, you know, let's you know make bygones be bygones." Mark, I think that's an excellent idea mm. because so often. You know, those, those these are situations where you can start mm. the year afresh. Mm. And I think if you initiate that conversation with that person, who perhaps you don't, for whatever reason, there has been some distancing between yeah. them. This is this is a good, if you like, platform or yep. stage mm. to do it on because yep. it, it everyone's eager for the year ahead to be full of mm. you know people people being comfortable, friendly, mm. new, a new sort of, a new year ahead and sometimes letting bygone. You know. mm. so I think that's an excellent nice idea. idea. I was going to do that with my dad, but unfortunately we ran out of New Year's Eve because he passed away a couple of years ago. But oh, anyway, right. Yeah, but, I mean, that was okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, it wasn't ideal. Yeah. Hey, hey, what about, um, uh, what about uh, sort of inviting neighbours and stuff like that? Uh, again, I, we recommend it's a good idea to invite your neighbours mm. because, again, it's another opportunity to connect with them. And sometimes we're so busy during the year that we often overlook having that connection. Um, I know for myself that, you know, that for us that happens because happens we're all so busy, so I think it's really appreciated. Mm. And, look, and, and, again, if they decline, at least you've given them... Uh, sort of a heads up that yeah. you may have a noisy party. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, stand by. Yeah. Door. And I, it's, it's coming back and which is, you know, etiquette is about that courtesy mm. and, and being thoughtful of others. It's, it's still most relevant today mm. as it has ever been. Yeah. Um, and more so probably because, because we do connect mm. um, so readily yeah. and the world's, the world's a small place now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some wonderful tips there. What What are you doing tonight, Julie? Well, we're fortunate enough to be overlooking the Sydney Harbour. Mm. Um, so we are having uh, 12 guests for dinner. So we'll be watching the 9 o'clock fireworks, followed by the midnight fireworks. And what is uh, exceptionally wonderful from our point of view is we have a group of Japanese students here from Japan who won't have had the opportunity to, well, I think it's their first time in Sydney. So mm, mm. It, we like to share the fact that we have this wonderful view oh, that's of the fireworks. Mm. So it's nice to be able to to invite and, and to host, you know, people who really, uh, I mean, we're fortunate Sydney is quite special with mm. the fireworks, as you know. Oh, I love fireworks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> remember, remember, uh, remember Cracker Night? 
Yes, we talking yes about I that, do. Talking about that for hours <laughs> yesterday. Hey, Julie, thank you so much. Before you go, you're the founder and CEO of the Sydney School of Protocol. Just very briefly tell us a little bit about that. Uh, we help people to be confident and polished and professional, and that includes corporate executives, the teenagers, mm. and, and really focused on life skills, uh, particularly, you know, a lot of people are very competent technically, or they may have university degrees and so on, but we like to be able to support people and feeling really confident and polished in any situation, whether it's a social setting or a business setting. That's wonderful. All right. Julie, thank you. Mm. Thanks for helping Mark, people. Well, very best wishes for this evening. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm certainly going to look after myself. Uh, you... I'll be at home. In a, my wife puts me in a straight jacket. It's just the easiest... <laughs> It's just the easiest way, really. You know, it's been a hell of a 10 years. <laughs> well, lift a glass of champagne. Well, exactly, yeah. I feel like Hannibal Lecter. Hey, Julie, thank you so much. It's an absolute pleasure, Lovely Mark, to talk to you. And the very best wishes for 2016. Thank you very much indeed. I know. Bye bye. That's Julie Lamberg Burnett, who is the founder and CEO of the Sydney School of Protocol. Good afternoon, everyone.